Hey guys, David at Twice Diecast. Let's do some peg hunting in Alabama. We're going to start in Homewood, Alabama at Homewood Toy and Hobby. You guys probably have driven past this place. Don't know if you ever popped in to check out the diecast selection. If you're a collector in the Birmingham, Alabama area, you'll know that this place has always had mainline Hot Wheels. You can see a couple of shippers today. Uh, they used to only have one, but they've got more now. And they are including these also these uh, really cool box sets from Hot Wheels in their display cases. Kind of an upgrade of their diecast selection. I thought today, since it was more than just Hot Wheels and Mainlines, I'd show you what else is in the store. If you guys like sets, they've got those as well. They've got some uh, premiums for Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Some of them sit on the card a little while, as you can tell by those super fast. But if you are looking for a harder to find older car uh, specifically, then this might be an option for you. The shipper was pretty current. Uh, they usually are international cards, so no reason to go through it. Probably not going to find a super treasure hunt. They've got other <coughs> sizes of die cast available as well. Here is some 143rd scale. And if you go back here in the model train area, they've got 187 HO uh, scale stuff for train enthusiasts as well. Homewood Toy and Hobby, one of my favorite places just to pop in. Uh, sometimes you find something really cool. Sometimes you find the same stuff that you saw last time. So just keep it on your radar. We're going to look at a couple places that uh, not everybody knows about in the Birmingham area today. And you'll see they've also got some 124 scale uh, vehicles by Maisto as well. So Homewood Toy and Hobby, definitely worth a trip to downtown Homewood. Um, if it's Christmas time, you can see it's pretty uh, neat little shopping area. Okay, so let's go to Hoover. We've got Second and Charles. This is a pop culture store and it is mostly secondhand stuff, which is awesome because you find incredibly vintage stuff like this Johnny Lightning from, I don't know, what, 15, 20 years ago? Uh, yeah, 2000 on the card. This is 22 years old. Some of the stuff is priced a little higher than you would expect it to be. Some of it is much less than you would expect it to be. But the random variety is what kills me in this place. Here is a 2018 50th anniversary Hot Wheels Zamac. Um, you know, just not going to find that hanging on the pegs anywhere else. We got some really cool old vintage racing champions. I think somebody brought in a couple tubs of these because these were all over the place. I'm going to shut up for a second, just let you look at some of the other really cool vintage stuff that is at 2nd and Charles and Hoover. You know, being a secondhand store, you're gonna get a uh, just all across the stuff, all across the uh, the board. NASCAR fans are gonna love this place. Uh, there's really no rhyme or reason for what got put into the inventory, and it's just whatever someone brought in. I think they sometimes buy collections. They also have really high quality sports memorabilia at the store. Um, here's a good racing champions mint. So there's a little something and, you know, it's a pop culture store. So you're going to get, you know, Pokemon cards. You're going to get uh, Lego. You're going to get everything. Just a super cool store. If you've got one in your city, I know they are across the country. They are definitely good places for diecast fans. Uh, you just never know what will be on the peg. So we'll keep on looking here. I think we stumbled onto a small cache of green light stuff uh, that I'll show here shortly. And I don't know why I was paying so much attention to that racing champions. Um, didn't buy anything this day. We've got every off brand you can imagine as well. I don't know what furious road trip who made those golden wheel. Okay. Um, let's see what we've got coming up. Some really good old hot wheel stuff. I think that is 2019 on the card. Let's look some more at this racing champion stuff. We'll put that up. 
here's the green light I was talking about. We've got, uh, now these, ironically, were priced, if I remember right, these were way over what I thought they would be. No, I take that back. So there were green lights that were going for $15, and then these were going for less than retail, and they were pretty old. So who knows who is pricing them? $4.95 for a brand new green light. Absolutely better than you could do at Hobby Lobby, especially when you consider that some of these are pretty old and you're not going to find them hanging on the pegs anywhere. Here's one for $5.95. So this is a 2016 model right here. Really cool to find these uh, spots where die cast is just kind of mixed in and maybe they don't know exactly what they got. Here's an, one of the old Hot Wheels truck series. You guys remember those three or four years ago. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, 2017 on this card, five years old. Now, you know, five bucks for a mainline or a quasi premium, if you will, Hot Wheels maybe a little bit more than you're willing to spend. But if that is the one truck you're missing in your truck collection, there you go. Old school muscle machines, look at that Impala right there. And we'll look at a few more green light, I think. And then we'll head over to the next end cap that's got more as well. I'm gonna try and get you a little bit of a view. This used to be primarily a bookstore, but now it has exploded with all of the pop culture stuff. Not a whole lot of brand new stuff. You can see some of it. And look at the size of the store, guys. They are massive, and it's not limited to Hoover, Alabama. Look up Second and Charles if you're a diecast collector and you are not in Alabama because you might have one in your area. We've even got a Auto World slot car hanging there. Got an old school twin mill, four or five years old there. Let's see how much this slot car was. I think it was pretty cheap. Yeah, a lot, lot cheaper than you would get at Hobby Lobby. They may not realize that it is a slot car. Just some older uh, Hot Wheels. Here we got a couple flying customs and Kind of pleased to find this old Vega hanging up in the very back of the peg here. I always love this casting. It looks really cool with that 80s or 70s color scheme on it. Like I said, no problem finding some old NASCAR if you're a fan of those. Can't remember if I showed the price on these or not. We'll find out here shortly. Some of the cards are pretty trashed. And there you go, $5 for something at least 20 years old. In fact, that's got 91 on the card. So these are 30 years old, sitting there for five bucks each. A lot of old school drivers, um, honestly none that I even knew. But admittedly, I am not a NASCAR fan. We'll get to some green light. Here's one, couldn't figure out the price on it, $14.95, <clears throat> way too much for that green light. And some more of these hot rods from Racing Champions Mint. We'll wrap up Second and Charles in the Hoover as we look at a few more random Hot Wheels and Matchbox mainlines. The last place we're going to go to, guys, is an auto dealership I always pop into. And that is a Subaru dealership. And if you're in Alabama and you like specialty die casts and you like Subarus, uh, you're in it for a treat because the parts manager here, I talked to him and he said that he saw these in their catalog, thought that they might sell. So he ordered a bunch of 164 die cast. I bought some for myself and my collection on this day. So go on, check it out if you would like to, uh, or you could even contact them and maybe they could mail them to you. Anyway, this is David at Twice Die Cast. I hope you've enjoyed some die cast hunting in the Birmingham, Alabama area. Until then, take care, everybody. I'll see you guys on the next video.